K, rumors and news, you in the right place. Want a community that's cool, you in the right space. You want tips? Subscribe now and, and ring the, the bell. bell. Then go to the park and give them hell. The Boot Squad is an organization with all winners. Soldiers up in formation, we all killers. And when you step on the court, yo, you're our dinner. When I play D in the fourth, yo. So you don't know it's your boy, Brutal Sim on the scene. Wicked and mean with a next video for y'all man so y'all know what it is by now take some time out and bless up your boy and like up the video definitely help the channel out because you know your boy gonna do everything in the power to keep y'all up to date on everything in the 2k community in fact this is actually mike wayne's second half of the information overload that he's been tweeting out on twitter now i already uploaded the first half yesterday if you missed that out check out in the description or you could probably just click at the end of the video i'm gonna put a pop up there so y'all could definitely be more informed right so i'm actually recording this late at night so y'all could get it first thing in the morning and that definitely deserves a like so let's get to the info now chef curry actually tweeted mike wayne did we fix the contest system this year our ghost contest gone now he responded saying this was a primary focus for our team this year i'll never see anything is perfect but the new contest system is much more reliable and predictable now on the break actually tweeted him saying um for mismatch expert badge does it literally have to be a switch on board screen or can i just shoot with a taller defender on me at any time. Now let me go by, let me go on, on record saying, shooting another taller defender on you might not be the best IQ play, but let's continue on. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a matchup switch. It takes effect anytime you're on the size against your defender, similar to Giant Slayer. So it seemed like that's one of the badges that was renamed and labeled as a new badge, because you know Giant Slayer been in the game, right? Now Barry actually tweeted Mike Wayne saying, wait a minute, so I didn't see if sniper was taken out or not but if it isn't how does it work now now he responds and says sniper modifies the impact of your shot timing it gives you an extra boost for well timed shots and an extra penalty for poorly timed shots think of it like as the opposite of flexible release now the issue i have with something like this is why do i need a boost for well time shots if i got a high shoot i needed to score my g if i got a well time shot but it is what it is that's just me right now so let's continue on with the tweets now yeti yo i probably just butcher your name my bad my g it might be Yedi or something but my bad my bad now he tweeted out on my queen how the shooting function is it easy to hit trees with a very low tree like 20 or is it like 21 or is it in the middle of them kind of now he responded saying i'm hesitant to say what three point rating you'll need to be consistent because it's going to vary from player to player based on how good they are with shot timing it's definitely easier to hit threes with a lower rating than 22 or he probably meant 21. i'd probably say it's closer to 20 or in between now john duncan actually tweeted mike wayne saying will current gen and next gen have the same animations now he responded saying next gen has a lot more content due to the extra memory but the core animations such as sig moves and shots are the same so basically gameplay gonna be the same it's outside of everything else like content um whatever we rewards you have or whatever seem like it's gonna be the same it's, it's gonna be interesting to see how this really transfers from one um generation to the next now possibility i think i got it right tweet at mike wayne how does the chef badge work is this for fading trees or standing trees after you stop the dribbling now he responded saying it kicks in for actual off dribble shots like pull-ups and step backs but will also work if you've been moving a while stop and shoot but you have to shoot within one second so it's basically difficult shots for the most part and as i said before you will see a lot of this happening where they switch the name of badges or split badges and you know just call it new ones all right so um enigma i think i got that right tweet at mike wayne i don't think there should be a high requirement but taller players he said high requirement he probably mean height requirement but taller players should do the moves slower yeah he definitely mean 
height requirement. Now, my queen respond is saying, I, I used to be that way, but a lot of the new moves look pretty ridiculous on seven footers. They definitely need a height requirement to move my G. Stop it. Now, my queen actually tweeted this out. There are benefits to going above 85. Mainly, your moves will be faster and more effective. There are still three general tiers. Less than 60, 60 to 84, 85 plus. But there are different SIGs unlocked at very other ratings. 65, 70, 75, and 80. So Gage, I think Gage is the thing. I actually tweeted at Mike Wayne, will Park Handles return to NBA 2K22? He said, no, not until I come up with a better way to do them without interfering with the core dribble moves. Someone just asked, of course, I know a lot of people are interested in this question. Will there be the speed glitch? And he said he hoped not. Now the question I want to know, if we do figure out the speed glitch, which we will, will they patch it immediately to keep some balance in the game? That's a question that I would like Mike Wayne to answer personally. So Spencer Thomas actually tweeted at Mike Wayne saying, I might sound silly for asking this, but Will the required ball handle for the pro dribble moves in NBA 2K22 or 2K22 next gen be the same as current gen 2K22? Now he said yes, everything I've stated about dribble move goes for both gens. As he said before, it seemed like the gameplay will be very similar for next gen and current gen, which would be good for me because I plan on playing both. So I don't want to learn a whole new system or how to change damn near everything from one console to the next or one generation to the next. Now Swante actually tweeted Mike Wayne saying shot speed should vary so people don't use a Zen. Why did you go back? Next gen was very easy to shoot so why go back and I do agree with this sentiment. I ain't gonna front with y'all. After playing current gen and going up as a Zen after Zen and you go to next gen and find out yeah you can't really use Zen consistently you ask the question why why now he did respond saying shot speed is still variable it just doesn't vary based on distance anymore that was still easy to exploit so apparently they probably got some more information than us <laughs> apparently people were still finding ways to cheat using zens on next gen okay okay now mike Warren actually tweeted this out aggressive skill dunks let you attempt dunks in situation where you'd otherwise get a layup. Now I was always asking for this. I always hated me going and attempting a dunk and they giving me a layup. I always ask for yo, allow me to press a button saying I'm going for a dunk and attempt a dunk. Now if so for some reason defender is there and he throw me off of it, okay, I could live with it. But don't give me a layup when I want to dunk. Now let's continue on. Now I wouldn't say it's a guaranteed dunk every time though. We tried that and it was either cheesy or a brick fest. I think it's in a good spot now, but we will fine tune from the community feedback. And I, and I ain't gonna front, that's something that always got to me, y'all. Like I always wanted, a lot of times you're going up there and trying to dunk and you're pressing on that turbo and hope you dunk and then they give you a weak ass layup. It just don't make any sense. Now, um, E. Ed, Boom actually tweeted at my queen dunk landings and yes there are dunk landings some wild ones too dunk landings gonna be really interesting I ain't gonna front with y'all um so Elijah one dream shout out to him my G a great content creator you should probably check out he actually tweeted at Mike Wayne is the spin dunk with the right stick still in NBA 2K22. Now my query respond is saying, you can still spin them, but that cheesy one from the three point line is dead. Thank you for taking it out. That was so trash. Um, Greek Freak actually tweeted saying, anything new for screens, Mike? Oh my, please tell me the vacuum screens are gone, please. Now he did say the motion team did a lot of work to improve the feel and navigating around screens, reduce the vacuum effect, improve resolution, logic, and more. They feel much tighter now. So that's a plus for me personally. Once I hear the vacuum screen effect, 
has been drastically reduced that's all i want to because i ain't gonna front that what make the pick and roll so effective in the game sometimes you just touch a player and your player just running around like bro i didn't want to go do all that so hopefully this game gives us a little bit more control to get around those screens now damon actually tweeted mike wayne i'm not hearing anything about rim protection is there any badge that helps that and mike wayne actually responded saying intimidator and rim protector are the two main badges for rim protection paint defensive probably in my top five nba 2k22 and he just right 2k22 upgrades this year blocking is miles better than it has been in the past so he's telling you straight up y'all please don't create bills without paint defense this year or else it's all your fault now ytf5 gaming actually tweeted my queen how many six sides up will there be at launch and how many will be added each season now he actually responded saying my current plan is to start with 20 options on day one and then release four new ones each season 52 total now i ain't going front with y'all this is something that i had an issue with it's something i don't like i just want the moves out the gate y'all could find better rewards than moves to put in the game i'm sorry i guess y'all looking at it as weapons like call of duty but it just isn't i ain't <laughs> whatever man whatever i might be wrong i ain't going front i'm always open to be i might be wrong on this one man it might be good so let's wait and see when we get our hands of the game but i would just like to uh, not wait till the end of the year to get all the options and moves. But let's continue on. Now, Power DF actually tweeted Mike Wayne. Could we get some clarification on what a well time shot is? A slightly late or slightly early well time or poorly time? What's the distinction there? Well, Mike Wayne actually said if you cut the make window into four equal parts, the two outer pieces, early or late, get an extra penalty understood the two inner piece slightly early or late get an extra bonus excellence is a guaranteed make and very early or late outside the make window is a guaranteed miss i mean that's i think i understood that before but let me know if this helped you all out all right now quay a actually tweeted mike wayne how does the alley-oop timing work is it as soon as you catch the ball it seems like you gotta have timing with catching hoops this year. Oh my god. He said a meter pops up while the pass is in the air. <laughs> if you press the shot button too early, you'll miss the catch completely. If you stop it inside the window, you make the shot. If you don't press the button at all, you catch and come down. So now you need to time your hoops, y'all wow <laughs> this is interesting as hell i ain't gonna lie to you ah so no more random throwing hoops man this is interesting i ain't gonna for this add an extra skill gap to it man and add a little bit more you gotta be in sync with the player that you're throwing a hoop to man all right so you can't just randomly throw any suck you in and you just okay just hold the button down now steven actually tweeted mike wayne does the aggressive dunk timing also apply to our standing contact dunk animation? And if so, will it be harder to time due to shorter animations? He, he asked a good question. Standing contact dunks will use the same logic as last year. I.e. you won't need to use the pro stick down to see an increase in standing contact dunk frequency. Now, Mike Wayne actually responded to the same tweet twice from Steven. And in this response, he said they are quick and harder to time. So it's probably best to just stick with the shot button or different pro stick direction. But if you do, you can boost your make percentage with pro stick down. So there is a risk, but there's also a reward for using it. Eh, whatever. Now, Mike Wayne actually tweeted out. <laughs> Those are stuff that I think we will learn as we go along in the game. Like Mike Wayne always tells us stuff and when we get our hands on the game is not exactly the same way. So Mike Wayne actually tweeted out, Floaters are much more useful this year. Open middies are money. I like that. I like that. And he tweeted this out as well. Flexible release 
is no longer in the game. Now, or if God he actually tweeted at Mike Wayne, are better steel animations unlocked after certain thresholds is met for steel's rating? Now he responds saying, in new gen, yes. The steel ratings is much more important for steel success this year. But he only spoke about next gen, what happened for old gen. But that's all I got for y'all, man. And now y'all are fully informed and you know what it is, man. Your boy gonna always keep y'all up to date on everything in the 2K community. Now, Mike Wayne did say a lot in these tweets and let me know what y'all think about the info so far. Let me know if y'all are excited or not. Me personally, I'm on even keel, man. I'm on even keel. I just want a new 2K right now that's it that's pretty much it i just need a new 2k so i can start grinding with some purpose well, all these stuff that he's tweeting out i'm gonna learn as i get my hands on it hands on is always the best um teacher and you know what it is man the google gonna make your life easy this year with a bunch of tutorials to make just to make life easier overall right to save y'all some time in some of y'all decisions but anyways man just a quick update for y'all man let me know what y'all think y'all know what it is your boy sim first time to the channel make sure to like the video share the video and hit your boy your sub subscribe oh, yeah. if you're not your first time like the video share the video you never know who's gonna be informed y'all your boy sim one love respect bless up peace, peace.